Is that? Oh, <laughs> he's so Definitely awesome. Him. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Holy cow. Oh, 
<laughs> Good job. Oh, that's. I was, 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 was he standing there looking at you? Or what? So we come through there and something just caught my eye and I went through the binos up, but one handed, a bit shaky, and I went, that, Was that an antler just moved? So that's why I put my gun down. I went like that. I just see this one good antler <gasps> and I went, Come on. And I just. And I saw the other one which is coming out at right angles, which is this one. It's basically just a beam. And I went, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the deer we, got we it came done. to get. We got it done. You got it done. <laughs> How oh, cool is that? Dude. Look at that. He's awesome. How cool. One shot. Oh yeah, smoked him. Good job. Look at the scars on him down here. How far was that? It was a decent shot. I don't know. 120 maybe? Jeepers, wow. Freehand. That was pretty cool to watch. <laughs> that is a cool deer. Never <laughs> seen one He's one. awesome. <laughs> He's awesome. Look at him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is cool, eh? Oh. So we got just the tiniest bit of footage of this bloke fortnight ago just got him slipping through some bush and realized that he was a wonky with a bit of character came back in to uh see if we could get onto him again and found him on the other side of the river unreal it's been a good trip <laughs> awesome. oh my goodness that's so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I haven't got any coming out. Pedicles, I should say. Not coming through. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got him. <laughs> One deal looking for. That's a
Yep, got that stag swagger. I'm so big, I'm so strong. Pretty sure this stag is the stag we saw over there. Yeah, he's got that his lay back antlers. Same size. All I can see is the head of a little wattle tree just going. Wah! behind the bush though, it's going to be hard to spot. Just a spiker I think. Might be these deer that we normally see filtered around into there. Right, yeah, we're just about ready to pack up and head out of here. Had another good trip, um, great trip actually. So, just wanted to give you a little backstory on this stag. So, fortnight ago, Glenna and I came in to this spot and um, we saw a couple of nice stags actually. And but the funny, the funny story with this stag is um, we were sitting down at this gl uh, glassing point that we have down there and. Um, it was a real struggle to find a, de a deer. And uh, I think it's just this time of year, it's really green in here and there's plenty of feed. And so the deer aren't moving a lot. And maybe a lot of deer have moved up a bit higher as well. They'd better feed up higher. But um, anyway, so we're, we're glassing there and we'd spotted quite a few deer. And anyway, Glenda goes, oh, there's a big wide one. I said, oh, where? So jumped over to her and she's sort of, guided me into where she'd seen this stag and I'm going oh yeah I can see a stag there so I zoomed in on the camera and it was only a stag you know maybe half the length of this thing I said oh he's not that wide and she goes yeah no he's really wide and I said oh, 
you know, is he rubbing a tree? And it just so happened to be that this day he must have been doing rubbing a tree and the stag I was watching was rubbing a tree, but they're actually two different deer. And um, anyway, eventually I basically confused her enough to think that, nah, she she hadn't seen it properly. And uh, so he sort of gave up, you know, on that stag because the stag that I was looking at was only a little fella and not worth um, going after. And Anyway, so we kept looking, kept looking and, Oh, about half an hour, 45 minutes later, you know, when the morning's getting on and, and we spot this, she goes, oh, there's that stag again. And anyway, I put the camera on her. I'm like, oh, wow. And I just got the tiniest little bit of footage of him, a bit rough, just moving through some uh, little gap. And I went, oh, he's cool. He's got one good outler and, and just a, a, a wonk, wonky one out the other side. And Anyway, so we raced down and we had a hunt on him and, and we had him glimpses of him through the heads of the trees but there was definitely no shot opportunity so anyway we um we went back oh no that was the the last morning so we had to hike out that day and anyway we decided yep we'll, we'll have another crack in a fortnight so yeah we came in on friday afternoon and what we did is we had enough time to um go for glass just before dark so we just smashed it straight didn't even set up camp and smashed it straight down to where we'd seen this bloke um from and what we did instead of staying up at the vantage point where you can see big amounts of country we just zoomed in on the little spot the one face where we'd seen this fella and um we figured because we only had probably half an hour of light that we better to be in the position and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, we're not going to get distracted by other deer. Anyway, we saw a couple of deer, but not a lot. And we went back in the morning and we had quite um, wet and foggy conditions. So glassing wasn't really going to be much of an option. We did get a little bit of glassing in, in between some foggy um, fog moving in and out. But um, we saw a couple of deer, but yeah, nothing. We didn't see this fella. Um, so then we just went for a bit of a bush stalk because of the conditions, just weren't lending themselves to glassing. And we spotted um, a bachelor group of stags over uh, a fair way over and thought one of them might have been my uh, big knobby mongrel, which just got little stubs for antlers. So I'd be quite happy to take him as well. But anyway, we, we spent the day over there looking for them and, and fishing and whatnot. And come, um, come the evening, we... Um, we came back around this side and, and we just sat in the shade and waited for the sun to dip low and the shadows to grow long. And um, and then we come around the corner and we didn't really want to get into position too early, but we did the same thing. We didn't sit up on the big vantage point and glass everything. We zoomed in on the little area where we figured this bloke might be and um, checked the wind, the wind was good. And we snuck in there nice and quiet and um we we're sort of just moving in there and i just had this feeling because i'd seen a hind in that gully earlier in the morning just briefly in between some fog and i went it's probably worth having a look in this gully because it seemed to we put up some deer and oh, actually we saw a, a half handy stag uh, on friday afternoon sneak right in on me we got a little bit of crappy footage of him um but the scene and we put up a hind and we got honked at near camp and i thought oh it's just going to be worth poking into that gully and just looking at that face across here. And um, so we, that's what we did. We like realistically, we should have been back a hundred yards glassing this face across the river. But for whatever reason, I just decided, yep, yeah, no, nah, we're just going to poke around here and have have a look over here. And um, yeah, just moving through quiet and just a little bit of colour caught my eye. And, did the old one-handed binocular thing with you know you don't get fully steady and I'm right I was sort of just about to give up on it being a deer and I went oh I just reckon I saw a bit of antler then so I put my rifle down in the grass and then got the two hands so to have a much steadier look and I'm going yeah that's definitely a stay and it lifted its head and I could see this antler and I went oh he's all right but I know he's he's uh he's nearly 28 but um from the side view, because he's so wide, it didn't look that long. I only put him in the low twenties, and um, but I only saw this one antler, and I went, "Oh yeah, just keep looking, see what his other antlers like." Anyway, I saw him turn and look onto me a little bit, and I just saw this one going clean out the side, and I'm like, 
oh, that's wonky. And so immediately it was binos down, rifle up, chambered around, and you know, I went, oh, geez, that's a fair shot. But he was just in a bit of a window in some scrub. And I think if I had to move to the tree that was oh, about 15 yards in front of me, I might have uh, changed the angle enough to not be able to see him, and then I would have had to move and all the rest of it. So, yeah, it was about a 140-yard shot off the shoulder, and, um, yeah, slightly quartering on. So I smoked him in the shoulder and found the projectile just under the skin, you know, in the sort of the guts, what you'd call where the guts are, but uh, just, just in front of the back leg. So it was pretty much a big raking shot, uh, but he only made it about 25, 30 metres. And uh, he was down and out. So, anyway, it's not often that you go looking for a particular stag and make a plan and you end up coming home with that stag. So, it's a pretty cool experience. And, uh, yeah, what a unique deer. Have a look at him. Like, each angle's different, but super weird, which is kind of cool. He was old, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, we, we had a plan to get him and, and we came in and we got him. So, awesome. Anyway, we've got to pack up now. And looks like we're going to have a sweaty one walking out again. But we've got a heap of rain coming today, so we're going to try and beat the rain. Should have jumped in.